हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ वांड्रे शीतल फ्रॉम रेड शिक्षण संस्था राव बहादुर नारायण राव बोरावके कॉलेज श्रीरामपुर दिस वीडियो इज प्रिपेयर अंडर द गाइडन्स ऑफ ऑनरेबल प्रिंसिपल डॉक्टर गायकवाड साहेब एंड दिस वीडियो इज प्रिपेयर ओनली फॉर द एजुकेशनल पर्पज नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द लोकेशन इन बॉडी ऑफ द ह्यूमन हार्ट how that heart is working how its structure is looking now let's start with the position the human heart it is located in the thoracic cage it is the reddish brown organ which is hollow muscular and it is about on an average near the 300 gram to 250 gram varies from this range male to the female it is well protected in the thoracic cage and it is 3/4 part is located on the left side of the body and 1/4 is located on the right side of the body it is enclosed in a membrane that the protection is given to the each and every organ of the body just like that heart is also protected in the thoracic cage that this thoracic cage they are gives the protection along with that the heart is enclosed in a membrane known as a pericardium this peri means the surrounding and that cardiac word related to the heart this pericardium it is made up of the two layer that is the outer fibrous pericardium the outer is the fibrous pericardium and the inner it is the serous pericardium this serous pericardium it is the soft moist and elastic in nature and both are made up of the squamous epithelial tissue as they work as the outer covering of the heart therefore they are the protective in function now again this serous pericardium it is subdivided into the parietal layer as well as the visceral layer this serous pericardium and fibrous pericardium both are the protective and this serous pericardium it is made up of the parietal as well as the visceral layer this serous pericardium it is shows the two layers that is the parietal and the visceral layer again these two layers are made up of the single layer of the squamous epithelial tissue these are also the protective in function while we are going to observe in the diagrammatically here that suppose these each layer they are separated from each other and here the space is present between the each layer that space is filled with the fluid that is known as a pericardial fluid this pericardial fluid that is present in between the space and this fluid protect from the mechanical injuries now the heart wall the heart wall it is the of three that is the epicardium then myocardium and third endocardium this ep means the above myo means the middle layer and endo means the inside here these all the layers they are also the protective in function that epicardium it is made up of the single layer of the squamous epithelial tissue endocardium is also made up of the single layer of squamous epithelial tissue both are the protective and the myocardium it is made up of the cardiac muscle fibers as we have studied the different types of the tissues and the different types of the muscle fibers and their structure location function and working these myocardium they are made up of the cardiac muscle fibers and due to the function of these cardiac muscle fibers here 
the working of the heart is depending on their function that is they plays the contraction and relaxation role due to that myocardium layer the heart shows the contraction as well as the relaxation now the external structure of this human heart that heart as we know that it is made up of the four chambers that is the atrium right left and the ventricles this left ventricle as well as the right ventricle is there and they are well protected inside the body now come towards the internal structure of a human heart here this diagram shows the internal structure of the human heart as we know that the it is made up of the four chamber this right atrium and right ventricle is here just like the here that left side that it is the left atrium and left ventricle is there it is the left atrium and the lower chamber is the left ventricle the upper two chambers that is the atrium they are known as a receiving chambers and the lower two chambers they are known as a distributing chambers here why the atrium they are known as a receiving chambers because they can receive the blood from the body parts and goes to the lungs for the purification why the ventricles they are the distributing chambers because here the right ventricle has to pass the blood outside the body for the purification and this left ventricle has pass the blood to the all the body parts here now come towards the its structure the first chamber right atrium it is the receiving chamber and the inferior vena cava and this superior vena cava these two vena cava they collect the deoxygenated blood from all the body parts that is this inferior vena cava it collect the deoxygenated blood from the upper parts of the body and the superior vena cava it collects the deoxygenated blood from the upper side of the body the all the deoxygenated blood it will be collected in the first receiving chamber that is the right atrium after the full of that first right atrium receiving chamber here the deoxygenated blood it will be get entered into the right ventricle in between the right atrium and right ventricle here the tricuspid wall is present the function of this tricuspid wall is nothing but it has to prevent the back flow of the blood here again in the inferior vena cava and superior vena cava the eustachian as well as the thebesian walls are present these eustachian and thebesian wall the samely function it is played by these walls that is they protect the back flow of the blood because whatever that blood it has to enter for the purification but actual that heart is not get purified the blood it only carries the double circulation mechanism in the first cycle it has to enter the blood inside the body and during the second cycle wherever the blood it will be get entered it has to pass to the lungs for the purification purpose means the blood purification it will be takes place with the help of the lungs not by the heart it only perform the role of the conducting system now on the left side here the left atrium and these left ventricle in between these the bicuspid wall is present and the another name for that bicuspid wall it is known as a mitral wall the same function of that bicuspid wall as well as the mitral wall is there it has to prevent the back flow of the blood but each chamber they are not get the in close contact they are having the partition in between that means here the right atrium is separated from the right ventricle and left atrium is separated from the left ventricle how in between the right atrium and in between the left atrium here the interatrial septum is present 
in between the right ventricle and left ventricle interventricular septum is present due to that each chamber is separated from the one another in between the right atrium and right ventricle here also the auriculoventricular septum is present due to this auriculoventricular septum each chamber is separated from one another now the receiving chambers that is these atrium they receives the deoxygenated as well as the oxygenated blood respectively and the left ventricle they receives the deoxygenated as well as the oxygenated blood respectively how that working takes place here in the first chamber that is the right atrium the deoxygenated blood from the superior as well as the inferior vena cava comes into the first chamber and in between the two chambers that tricuspid wall is there this tricuspid wall it is get the entry of that deoxygenated blood from first chamber to the second chamber when the pressure is applied in the first chamber at that time due to that pressure these walls are get open and when it is get filled that filled chamber becomes empty into the right ventricle after that same thing is happening when this left atrium it is become the full this chamber it will be become full the bicuspid wall is get open and this bicuspid wall it after the opening here shows enter the deoxygenated blood into the left ventricle here means here in the internal structure of the human heart we are showing how that each chamber is present how that each chamber it is get located in the next lecture we are going to study how the conducting system is there means how the deoxygenated and oxygenated blood goes outside the human heart for the purification and how the cardiac cycle it will be gets the working thank you